it's your girl Jeff Beauty 87 here and today we're gonna get into some of my favorite foundation and concealer mixtures so remember when I did the lip bar video I told you I was gonna try to mix it with some other stuff and make it work because since it's a serum foundation it doesn't work for someone with my skin type oily combination that has like you know acne prone skin I need stuff to be covered and it wasn't covering like I needed it to cover so I found um some stuff I like to mix it with and then I had a couple foundations I did that with before that I that were light coverage that I wanted to try because of um, some of the claims they had, but they didn't honestly work for me as well as they probably would if I had better skin. So I figured I'd show you all those. And then there's a couple of concealers that I didn't like that much on their own, and I just put them with another concealer and they work out better for me in that way. So let's go ahead and get started. So I guess I'll talk about the one that's on my face now, right now, which is the lip bar. So you all remember I did this, and as you can see, it's, I've used it quite a bit considering I only used it i think i've used this like three to four times i don't know how um well it's gonna saw how much longer it's gonna last for me because i mean i only use one pump then i use one pump with something else but i just felt like that was a lot considering i had only used it like four times but i had to use a lot on the very first time because we just use it on its own as opposed to with something else so i figured it'll last a little bit longer once i just keep using it one pump with it with other foundations that have better coverage so the one i'll start off with the one i have on my face today so the one i have on my face today with it is the smashbox um skin star studio skin full coverage 24 hour foundation now if you all remember the video i tried this on its own by the way i wear the shade 4.25 in this one and i wear 4.03 in the lip bar if anyone's curious and, and you didn't go watch the lip bar video i'll try to remember to link it up there but anyway I try to remember to link all the videos of all this stuff because I have one dedicated to this foundation too. But the reason um, I like and don't like this foundation is it clings to all the texture that's on your face. So this on its own, it will cling to every texture spot on your face that you have. And for somebody like me who has textured acne prone skin, that means I just look a whole hot ass mess. So what I did was I put one pump of this in today or one squeeze of this in today and one pump out of this and this is what we have on the face right now and i think it looks actually really really nice i did have to use a yellow um concealer though to make it look as bright and yellow and nice as it does along with a yellow banana powder to get my golden places back to golden because like with this one combined with this one i noticed it was quite red and i wasn't feeling that i did use the lip bar concealer and then i used the yellow um full spectrum concealer from covergirl to to get my face to look the way i wanted it which is the way it looks now um but i think these are a great combination together so um I tried this, I didn't like it on its own. I tried this, I didn't like it on its own. So I made both of them work for me. So there's that. The next one I tried with this foundation was the Bite Change Maker um, Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Now, if you all remember, I didn't like this one either. I didn't like the consistency of it. It didn't necessarily show that much texture on my face. It was just more of the consistency of it didn't work for me. I wasn't feeling it at all. But I um, used the shade D155 in this one. And the color match is actually really nice. But again, because of the consistency of the product, I felt like it didn't go across the skin smoothly. And I'd use this with like my Tatcha canvas and it still wouldn't look as smooth as I wanted it to. But it looks really nice and smooth when you mix in like the lip bar serum foundation. So I'm finding that if I have a foundation I don't like and I try to mix it with another foundation I don't like, it actually works out better for me. So these two are a match made in heaven as well. I know, um, what's her name? Samantha Ravenall really likes this foundation. And that's the only reason I tried it to begin with, aside from the fact that I, y'all know I love to try out complexion products, so I had to try this one out. But I wouldn't recommend this on its own, but if you have like a serum foundation you can mix in with it, or a lighter foundation that smooths it out nicer, or you just found a good primer, then maybe you could try it out. But on its own, I don't like this foundation, so I had to combine it with something else, which was the lip bar. So lip bar came through and saved the day, so I didn't have to declutter a couple of foundations or try to sell them to somebody else, because um, I hate having to do that, but you know. That's what happens. Another serum foundation I have is the Age Perfect um, Radiant Serum Foundation with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15. As you can see on the front, it says I wear 125 Cappuccino. Um, and I tried this and I actually like this foundation. Okay, it's just more of, again, we all know I need full coverage because underneath, if you all have seen my face on foundation reviews, I have like a lot of dark spots around here. And then I have texture and all that. So I feel like a foundation like this wouldn't help cover up all that stuff. So what I did was I mixed it with my um, Milani Screen Queen foundation. I have the shade 500 Natural Toffee. This is my summer shade, my winter shade. I think Andrea Renee said we wear 480. I forgot the name of it, 480 something. But um, I usually like to mix in this foundation with this foundation because I just found that I didn't like the way this foundation looked on its own. And again, I felt like it was a little thick. 
So when you mix them with this one, it just gives you a little bit more. I felt like it gave me a little bit of goldenness to it and then it like kind of smooths out the skin a little bit better so if y'all notice i really like the skin to look as smooth as possible considering i have so much acne and texture underneath here i want to smooth that out as much as possible so i for the most part i always try to use a blurring and smoothing primer and then i'll go in with like a full coverage foundation and um hope it'll smooth it out and get rid of as much darkness and, and dark spots and acne as possible so this foundation i don't necessarily like on its own i mean i tried it on its own it was okay it was just more of since i bought my summer shade instead of like my you know normal winter shade i didn't like it as much but when i mix it in with this one they work out to be just fine since i already had both i was like who's gonna go out and buy a second shade of this when i already have this so this is another combination i really like to use i'll use it in the summer or the winters because since this is my actual shade i can put it off by um mix it in with this one so they are a great combination but both of them actually work fine on their own if you want to just try either one on their own the last foundation i have is the what is this? the stellar i don't know what the name of this one is it's a stellar foundation i know you all have seen this on clearance rack and sephora quite a bit i saw it on there and was intrigued by it and wanted to try it it's a luminous foundation though i wore the shade s20 in this foundation and it's a really nice foundation has a good consistency to it but again since it's a luminous foundation it doesn't give you nearly as much coverage as um a more heavy duty full coverage foundation would give so what i do is i mix it in with the huda beauty full filter high coverage cream foundation in the shade mocha 500g so since these are both golden foundations this one gives you all the coverage that you actually need and then this one gives you a bit of luminosity to make you look like you glow from within so that way you don't have to mix highlighter in with your foundation. I know that's what I do. When I want to look like I glow from within, I mix highlighter in with the foundation and it gives me that extra luminous, you know, vavoom about you, if you will. I actually did that today with the foundations I have on. I used one from the Balm, the ones they had like in little um, lip gloss looking containers. I have the darkest one they have, so I just swipe that on the back of my hand, squeeze each foundation on my hand, and then mix it all together and put it on my face. But... I love this foundation combination. So if you all remember, this was on sale for 50% off the Huda one a while ago. So if you had grabbed that and um, you tried this one because I think it was $19 or $11. It was ridiculously low. So I ended up just mixing these one day because I, I wanted to see how it looked. And it looked so gorgeous and so nice. So this is another foundation combination I like to use together. Again, both of them are fine on their own. It just depends on what coverage level you have. Like if you have more dry skin, you'd probably like this one better because it's going to give you that luminosity and it has like a decent amount. I think it was light to like medium coverage. So if that's the type of stuff you like, you'll like it just fine. But Huda is is my type of girl. She, you know, she's spackled and all that. The only thing is, y'all know this has a fragrance because she can't seem to not put fragrance in anything. Like everything has to have a fragrance. Don't be surprised if the eyeshadow start having fragrance this soon, girl, because she just, her and her fragrance this child, I just, I don't know. Anyway, so now we're going to get into concealers because I only have like two different sets of concealers. And they're actually both by the same brand. So if you all remember, um, I tried out these e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer Satin Finish. And these are supposed to be full coverage concealers. And they're just supposed to be the satin version of the um, original 16-hour Camel um, Concealer. But I did not like these at all. Like, first of all, the colors weren't the same. Like, these shades, if I remember correctly, were lighter than the original shades. And then the coverage on these were not nearly as good as the original. So, of course, what did I do? I mixed both of them together. So, what I'll do is I'll pick the two colors that match each other together. And then the other two colors that match each other together. So, I'll start off with, like, Deep Chestnut. So, both of these are Deep Chestnut. But as you can see, one is darker than the other one. So, I'll mix both these together and put them underneath the eyes. And then I'll mix both the Deep Olive together to, like, highlight the other spots on my face. And then sometimes I'll put this underneath the eye on my second or third go round of concealers and, um when I do my cheeks just because you know like I have both of them and I didn't want to get rid of them because I complexion are things I don't like to give away I hate to um but the concealers because I'm always like well you can just highlight your face with that concealer if you don't like it underneath your eyes then you know it still serves the purpose so that's what I do with those for the most part I tried it by itself recently and I actually mixed it with another concealer I could show you let me see and I like to mix with that concealer as well so sometimes when I'm using these and i don't use the elf one i will mix it with the milani concealer perfect long wear concealer in the shade deep tan 165 so sometimes i mix this one with this one and then majority of the time i use it with the elf one but i like it combined with either one like this concealer is amazing if you have not tried it you need to it is amazing so like for example when i do that combination with um the milani and the l'oreal i'll use use this concealer and then i'll use these with it and that'll be my new little concealer cocktail if you will 
So my last concealer cocktail I have, if you all remember, I tried this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 8.75. I used the shade 8.75 in all the concealers. And I didn't like this on its own because, again, it's a luminous um, finish, so it's not going to get the type of coverage I feel like a um, normal uh, what is it, matte or high coverage concealer would give. So, of course, I used the Giorgio Armani um, Power Fabric concealer in 8.75 and just combine these together when I do these so like I might use the luminous silk foundation but I make sure I use the power play and then I just highlight my face with the um, luminous silk one and then I'll put both of these underneath the eyes at the last minute and the last time I have to use it so those are just some of my favorite um foundation and concealer combinations uh, I want to share them with you all so just in case you all weren't inspired by um, some of the foundation you have in your collection or like you have a foundation you don't know what to do with and you don't like it on its own, mix it with something else, girl, and try to make it work for you since you know I already spent your money and you like me and you didn't want to take it back or you waited too long to take it back and you just out there now and you don't want to try to settle on Macari or all that because that'll take forever and somebody going to try to lowball you for it and all that. You ain't got time for all that, sis. Just mix it with something else and go on with your life. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. Um, if anyone cares, I have the Hocus Pocus on my eyes. That's why I have two different eyes. Because I give y'all two different looks with the Hocus Pocus um, Gather Round Sisters palette. But hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>